guys, today we are doing a re reaction time. Well, not really in a reaction time, but we're not doing Azzy Land or Sniper Wolf, I should say. We're doing the same one, but not this one. Hi, I'm Sophia. During the first eight years of my life, I was a scapegoat for my mom, while other people considered her to almost be a saint. And once I got really desperate, my grandmother came to rescue me. Yep. When I was four, Whenever my dad... your mom or dad fine with you, you got your grandma and grandpa over here be like, Okay, sweetie, let's go. I'd left my mom. He actually never showed up after that. Probably had to go somewhere, like get toilet paper and supplies for Corona. And that never happened, so he, he never found some, so he never came back. But I vividly remember the day he was leaving. I was playing out in the front yard of our house, and he was in such a rush that he stepped over one of my toys, and it broke. He pretended like he didn't notice anything, while my mom was running after him, crying and begging him to change his mind. Oh, that, he's losing her, some hair, isn't he? He's gonna go bald. Dang, he's losing, he's losing some silk. And that looks like an expensive outfit. And stay. Since then, something that I call Mama's Bad Days started. She'd always been a bit too emotional. Like, for example, when she couldn't find a perfect parking space near the supermarket, she would just get angry, drive away, and not buy anything. Usually she calmed herself down really... Looks like she's like, nope, no dinner, no food. No snacks for school, no dinner, no breakfast, nada. Easily and fast. And Dad really helped her with this. But after he left us, she became even more explosive over little tiny... She's making herself mad. Look at her. She's on, she's on the stove and... Really helped her with this. She changed her... But after he left herself. us, she became no, even more explosive over like, little tiny things. Self. Mad. And I constantly found myself on the receiving end of her bad temper. This is a good child right here. This child is a very good child. She's trying to help her mom. But that kettle, that cooking kettle over there, don't want to be helped. Once she entered my room to say that it was time for me to take a bath while I was playing with my toys under a tent I had... I've watched this on a different account, so... ...made from chairs, pillows, and blankets. And when she saw this mess, as she called it, she turned red with anger, ruined the whole t You called that tent thing a mess when you crushed tent thing, thing and started throwing everything around the room while saying that I was the most... You're calling that a mess? Look at the mess you made! ...most naughty and stupid child in the world. And this was actually quite a frequent reaction of hers toward me... Like, look at this mess. It was perfectly fine until that kettle mom came over here going, doo, 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 shower time. And then she's like, that's a mess. Playing with toys. I've said I'm sorry, mommy, so many times in my life and for a variety of time. reasons. She was working in a law firm and I was going to a preschool. And practically every morning of mine started with my mom, who was... Is she a skeleton? Do you see her fingers? She's like... Oh my God. Nervous because, as she said, it took her forever to wake me up and get me ready to go. While she was driving, she was already answering her business calls, and she always got annoyed whenever I asked her a question. But when she was leaving me at preschool, oh, she Alice, acted like the, the best mom in the world with so many kisses and hugs. I felt like I loved her more than anything in the world to the point that I sort of immediately forgot that she had yelled at me like 10 minutes ago. I sometimes heard my teachers talking to each other about my mom, and they would say that she was a very strong woman, having left and become a single mom. Usually, I was enormously proud when I heard that, and I sort of believed with all my heart that my mom was... If that's supposed to be your mom, are you really... If that's supposed to be your mom, are you really falling for other people, saying that she's an actual devil, and then people say she's a saint? Are you believing this stuff now? It's really doing great. But then another bad day would happen, and I was once again apologizing for driving Mom crazy. 
I spent every weekend at my grandparents' house because my mom would say that she was really tired from working so much and from her daily routine and that she just needed to relax a little bit. Apparently, this and Mama gonna be partying up in here. She's got some popcorn. She's got some Netflix. She's got her dress on. She's ready to party. Included having a break from being a mom. I liked being there, though. Granny often got me involved in cooking, and it was great. And Grandpa taught me to play chess and checkers, and we did lots of fun stuff together. They did she win, or did they just like take a big break? They never yelled at me. And on Sunday, when they brought me back home to my mommy, I was so happy to see her again, and she was also happy and calm and loving, but only for a couple of days. Then things. A couple of days. At least that's better than like. One minute and then go.、Rah! Went back to normal again. Years passed, and I had pretty much gotten used to my mom's temper and our weekends spent separately. But I still felt really bad whenever she yelled at me for nothing or because of something that happened that I had nothing to do with. For example, once she had some problems at work, and she returned home very tired and angry. I was about eight back then. She looks like Godzilla, like.、Rrr! And we were told at school that we had to do an art project, and I was really hoping that Mom would help me finish it. Well, she not only got irritated that I chose the worst time possible to ask her that, but she also ruined everything that. I- Your mom's superwoman, supergirl, is <laughs> shooting laser beams out of her eyes. I had already done in her regular fit of rage. I cried all night long. The next day at school, I was the only one who had failed to do that project, and I felt really insulted. So I told my teacher the actual reason that I didn't have my project.、Oh. By the way, this was the first time that I had ever decided to tell the truth about my mom. But guess what? My teacher didn't believe me. Even worse, she called my mom and asked her to come to school to discuss my lies. And when my mom came, she made up a story that it was our neighbor's dog who ruined my paper mache thing. And promised that she would have a serious talk with me about accusing somebody else of my own problems. On our way home, Mom, as usual, began saying how sorry she was for being rude the other day and for creating problems for me. I saw that she was really embarrassed and sorry for her behavior, so I forgave her, just like I always did. I mean, of course, I was terribly upset. Yeah, you should forgive your mom, but not in the car. Like if you're gonna be doing it in the car, at least stop the car. Like you're gonna crash, lady. But she promised me that she would control herself in the future, and I believed her again. But deep inside, this unfairness was killing me. I got so tired of the fact I had to always forgive and forget, and I felt that I needed a place to merge my thoughts and grievances. So I just took an empty notebook and started keeping a diary. I wrote down everything that I could recollect at once. Is that supposed to be like cursive? Because if you're eight, then wow, good job. And when I looked at the clock, I realized that I'd been writing for about two hours. I felt slightly better, so I kept writing daily about everything that was happening around me. It was not just about my mom. And I kept my secret notebook below my mattress so that my mom couldn't find it. Totally, you stick a random blue notebook out of your bed, and totally someone won't see it. It. What can I say? After that, things improved a bit. Mom at least tried to stay patient. Actually, she even started being a bit more attentive to me. Helping me with my homework a couple of times without getting irritated, which is what usually happened before. I thought that maybe she finally understood how much she frightened me with her behavior, or that maybe she was afraid that somebody would find out how explosive her temper really was and decided to change. And that made me feel inspired and gave me hope for a better life. But then I found out the real reason for my mom's emotional stability. It's probably just because she found the bag. Trying to find the toilet paper. So, once on Sunday evening, when I had just returned from my grandparents, my mom was in a really great mood. She was cooking, and her hands were kind of dirty. 
When her cell phone rang, she asked me to give her the phone, and I just accidentally glanced at the screen. Somebody named Eric was calling. And my mom was giggling and smiling while talking to him. Apparently, I had that astonished look on my face because as soon as my mom hung up the phone, and she was kind of excited, by the way, she said that she hoped I didn't mind if she had started dating again. I met Eric about a week after his phone call with my mom. Honestly, I didn't like him. You see, even though my mom has a bad temper, she's a very attractive woman. While Eric was shorter than her and a little bit chubby, and when he came to take us to the amusement... <laughs> You're judging your dad now? Well, you're, um, let's see, your stepdad. You're judging your stepdad saying, oh, he's short? He's chubby. Park, it was Saturday, which actually meant that I had to skip my trip to my grandparents. So, yes, this also set me up a little to be against him. This lady is eating paper now. Despite the fact that we went to the park together, I felt terribly lonely. I was riding the carousels on my own while mom paid almost no attention to me and was completely absorbed by chatting with Eric. I got really tired after about an hour and said that I wanted to go home, but my mom apparently wanted to spend some more time with her boyfriend. So I was whining and I didn't want to do anything and my mom eventually got annoyed with me as usual. I accidentally dropped an ice cream on my t-shirt and she said that I did it on purpose just to make them take me home. And I felt so bad that I started to cry. Well, everything ended up with Eric driving me and my mom back home. A few hours later, I found out that they split up. Do you want to know how I knew? Mom once again began crushing everything around her and yelling at me, saying that if I were a normal child and had just behaved while we were at the park, Eric would not have left her. But since I was terrible and made Mom angry at me, he thought that she was angry all the time. And then she said that I had ruined her life. And that if she hadn't had me, she would have been married again a long time ago. Well, if I if I had her mom, I'd be like, well, if I had, if I didn't have you as a mom, maybe I wouldn't be so depressed. Then she told me to get whatever I needed because she was going to give me to my grandparents since, as she put it, she needed Thank some God. space for the rest of the weekend. This time, I took my diary with me. You see, I hadn't had time to write in there about the latest events, and I felt that I That's really needed to do it. Right. I managed to do it right before I went to sleep once I was already at Granny's house. The next morning, I found out that my top-secret notebook had been exposed. Granny found it and read it and apparently told my mom about it. She was in shock. When my mom came to take me back home, Granny told me to stay in my room, but I heard most of what they were talking about. In addition to the fact that my mom was being reprimanded for not taking care of her anger issues earlier, Granny insisted that she go to a clinic for special treatment. Otherwise, Granny promised to deprive her of her parent. Ooh, Granny's got a job now. She's be like, okay, you'll be doing this now. To write and take me from her. I heard my mom start to cry, and a few minutes later she entered my room, still crying really hard and she was holding my diary in her hands. Apparently she read at least some parts of it and finally understood how badly she had been treating me. I spent a few months living at Granny's while my mommy was at the clinic, and even though it was the calmest period for me for a long, long time, I really missed my mommy. It's been a few years already since that story happened, and everything... Okay, yeah, if my mom had to go to the clinic, I'd be sad too, even if she was physically abusing me or just being really mean because has she i don't remember the story but i think she physically abused her i don't remember no i don't think so except for crushing the thing is normal i mean nobody yells for no reason and i get grounded only for low grades or misbehavior but i still sometimes find myself scared what if Mama's bad days ever come back? Cheer me up by giving my story a like and feel free to subscribe to this channel. I can only touch pink, pink clothes. Maybe I'll do this one next. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video and I'll see you all next time. 
make sure to smash that like button make sure to subscribe smash that bell button and make sure to comment and i hope you all enjoy today's video and i'll see you all next time goodbye